Hey what is up guys, we know that Ethereum last month in January 2018 was supposed to go through its Constantinople hard fork, but this upgrade was postponed due to the potential bug would appear in Ethereum network if the upgrade would have happened. So in this video I will explain what is going on with Ethereum Constantinople hard fork and when this update will finally happen. Before talking about Ethereum Constantinople hard fork, let's take a look at the current price of ETH. Ethereum hit 1 year low in December 2018, dropping all the way to $80 per coin. The current price of ETH is slightly higher than 120 bucks. This is a nice 50% increase since the 1 year low. Bear market is now longer than 1 year. So hopefully cryptocurrency reached its bottom and if that's the case, it's only a matter of time when we will witness another bull market run. Few points about this video. Just so you know some terminology that I'm going to use a lot in this video, which is EIP. Stands for Ethereum Improvement Proposal. Constantinople, Ethereum's latest network hard fork system upgrade was planned to take place on Wednesday, January 16th, 2019, at block 7 million AD. EIP-1234, the fifth upgrade will reduce block reward for miners by 33%, also known as Tirdening. The fork was delayed due to vulnerability in Ethereum Improvement Proposal or in short EIP-1283 that allows for reentrancy attack. The core Ethereum developers had a meeting on 18th of January to discuss the next step and decide to postpone the Constantinople network upgrade until approximately February 27th, 2019 at block number 7,280,000. The hard fork will now be released in two parts at the same time. This first hard fork will include all 5 EIPs, including the buggy EIP 1283, which I mentioned above. And on second upgrade EIP 1283 will be removed. If you own Ethereum, on short ETH, or smart contracts, you do not have to do anything. If you are a miner, node operator, or run an exchange, you will have to update your GAT or priority client when they are released. What is Constantinople? You may have heard the word Constantinople being thrown around and if you are wondering what the heck this is, or more importantly what it means for Ethereum network, this video is for you. Constantinople is one of the latest fork for Ethereum network. It contains 5 EIPs or Ethereum improvement proposals. So let me just give you definition what is Ethereum improvement proposal. Definition: Ethereum is an open source network owned by its community. There is no one single entity that decides how to upgrade the network. This means anyone within community can make suggestions to improve the network and those suggestions will take the form of EIPs or Ethereum Improvement Proposals. Constantinople will integrate 5 Ethereum Improvement Proposals which tackle the number of cost, speed, functionality and minor issues. Number 1. Bitwise Shifting Instruction which focuses on efficiency and speed. EIP-145 will be added but while shifting instruction to the Ethereum virtual machine or in short EVM. The instructions allow for bits of binary information to move to the left and to the right. This improvement means that execution of shifting in smart contracts will be 10 times cheaper. Number 2 smart contract verification, which focuses on speed and energy. EIP-1052 allows for smart contracts to verify one another by pulling just hash rate from the other contracts. Before, Constantinople smart contracts would have to pull the entire code of another contract in order to verify, 
which took time energy to perform. Number 3. Create 2. Scalability. EIP 1014, known as Create 2, was developed by Vitalik Buterin himself. The upgrade improves the enableness of the state channels, as Ethereum scaling solution based on off-chain transactions. Number 4. S Store, which focuses on cost. EIP 1283, this proposal, the full name which is Net gas metrics for S Store without dirty maps. Reduce the gas cost for S Store operations. This reduction enables multiple upgrades to occur within the transaction more cheaply. And number 5. Block reward and difficulty bump delay. EIP 1234 is one of the most highly discussed Constantinople upgrade. It is compromised of two components, block reward reduction and difficulty bump delay. Why is Ethereum having the network upgrade? All those EIPs above are part of the wider version of Ethereum 2.0, in which Ethereum protocol will undergo many fundamental changes to improve its functionality in the long term. Some of those changes include Transition from Proof-of-Work to Proof-of-Stake Improved Scalability via Sharding Ethereum Virtual Machine Improvement Improvement to Cross-Contract Logic Improvements to Protocol Economics We have some bumps on the road to Ethereum 2.0. On the 15th of January 2019, a day before Constantinople was due to come into effect, Chain Security, a smart contract audit firm, highlighted a very important vulnerability in EIP 1283 that would make existing contract vulnerable to re-entrancy attack. They mentioned that Ethereum Improvement Proposal EIP 1283, if implemented, could create a loophole in the Ethereum network through which attackers could enter the network and steal users' funds. This attack was named re-entrancy attack as it would give hackers a chance to enter into specific functions on the network on more than one occasion without notifying users. Essentially, an attacker could use this attack to steal funds from the network forever without ever being discovered. Chain security also outlined that exploitation of this vulnerability would be highly unlikely as they were unable to find any pre-existing contracts that would be at risk. Nevertheless, the code developers, client developers, and the community at large decide to postpone the network upgrade upon the further testing. The Kerr Ethereum developers held a meeting two days after the intended network upgrade to discuss how to improve forward and when to reintroduce the Constantinople upgrade. On the call, developers came to consensus on pushing the upgrade for another 6 weeks in order to give reasonable amount of time to test clients. The Constantinople Ethereum network upgrade will now occur at block number 7,280,000 approximately on February 27th. During the developers call, the group also decided that EAP 1283 would be omitted from the Constantinople release. Instead, EAP 1283 will be postponed and released once the additional tests are conducted to ensure that proposal is no longer vulnerable. The Constantinople network upgrade will now be released as two simultaneous upgrades. The first network upgrade will include all 5 EIPs, including the buggy EIP 1283, and the second upgrade will subsequently remove EIP 1283. Peter Zilagi, a core developer at Ethereum, who suggested this upgrade strategy during the development call recommended that this process will further ensure that any network which have already implemented and complete Constantinople hard fork upgrade with EIP 1283 will still able to fix the bug without having to roll back any blocks. 
what does this mean going forward? Your next steps will depend on how you interact with Ethereum network. If you own Ether, ETH, own smart contract or simply interact with Ethereum network at a high level, sit back, relax and you do not have to do anything. So we came to the end, let me know what you guys think about Ethereum delayed the hard fork. Will the bug will be fixed or not? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe for more animated videos about cryptocurrency and financial market. Other than that, thank you for watching and see you next time.